What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys, welcome to part 2 with Sultai Garuda. Uh, absolutely loving this list, despite the fact that we really didn't do so well in the first video. Uh, that being said, if you did not check out the first video, I highly suggest you do so. We kind of go over the list in a little bit more detail, uh, so you can kind of see exactly what we're doing. But, I'm excited. I like this list. I love Garuda. I think it's a sweet, sweet card. Um, and it certainly has some busted potential. I don't like keeping this because we don't have a mana ramper, but I'm going to try it. Um, maybe that's what what's going wrong. Maybe I'm just bad keeping stuff, but um, we do have the Binding of the Titans, which I think helps a bit. Uh, so we'll see. We will see. Uh, regard I, I hope you guys are um, enjoying these gameplay videos. We're doing a lot of them. Um, we're doing our best to kind of pump out as many as possible. That way you guys have a lot of content from us, but... Uh, more importantly, we just kind of want to make sure that it's stuff you enjoy. Um, it's more important. Okay. Interesting. Um, so yeah, we're we're doing the best we can to get a lot of this stuff out there for you guys. Uh, the support's been amazing lately. Uh, you're we're, we've got and so a peek behind the curtain, so to speak. Um, we. Uh, Will and myself, uh, we've we've kind of set end of the year goals. We always do. Uh, we set end of the year goals for ourselves and things that we'd like to do versus uh, things that uh, we'll ditch that. Uh, versus things that you know maybe we can hold off a year that we don't necessarily need to do right away. Um, we we've always kind of got those things in mind. Um, and some of our goals for the end of this year were already kind of coming up on. Uh, which is insane for us. Um, now, we're not there yet, obviously, but uh, we, we like to set, you know, watch time hour goals is, is a great example of one where, you know, we, we have a goal of um, it'd be great to reach that kind of 4,000 mark by the, end of the, by the end of the year. For us, that's a, that was at least a pretty big ask uh, because I think we were at not 4,000, uh, that's for sure. We were at very little uh, in comparison. But uh, now with like Akoria, and just in the last week, we've almost doubled our watch time hours uh, in the last year. So like, we're we're coming up on it, which is insane for us. We just never expected that. Uh, if it makes sense to to say that we we thought you know well yeah this would be great to actually do, but realistically I don't know if it's gonna happen. Um, fortunately for us, you guys have been amazing. Uh, so thank you, really do thank you, um, for for helping us get where we are. Let's go ahead and draw a card first. Uh, with that, we'll do this. <clears throat> Unfortunately, a very slow start from us guys. Uh, and this was a sketchy keep to to begin with. Let's be honest. Um, but yeah. I do still love like just the feel of this deck. It just feels I don't know something something's very very nice about it. Uh, we're not gonna block. They're gonna make us sacrifice this, but uh, we'll see what they do. We're gonna take a big hit either way. And to be brutally honest, our life total matters very little. Um, the point at which we care is you know. Just trying to get to that ever important six mana. Taking a big hit here. Yep. All right. Well, that is not helpful. Um, I did not look through their graveyard. My my opinion is that uh, we've kind of already lost this game. I'm going to go ahead and concede here. Uh, unfortunately, not drawing that land there just set us back two more turns, essentially. We're not going to last two more turns. Um, so I'm going to not I'm going to save everybody's time a little bit and not uh, not continue that one. Let's go ahead and jump into game two. Um, 
by the way, uh, if you've got a deck uh, that you'd like us to play, I've got one backstocked. It's one that I don't like, um, but I'm going to try and take the take the thought process of, well, maybe this will change my mind. Um, and I'm hoping that I'm right that it might, but I don't know. A um, little bit low on lands here, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, we have the Paradise Druid, which is going to help tremendously. If we draw one land, we're in Nightmare Shepherd territory, which is great for us. Um, and we do have the Thassa's Oracle, which can very easily just be used to scry uh, in the early game. If you get like a Thassa or something, you get to bounce it either way. So, um, Is this mono red? Yeah. Nope, nope. Not good, not good. All right, uh, let's get Paradise Druid out. Thankfully, Thassa's Oracle does a good job of blocking all these little 1-1s, one -ones, but uh, the reality is it may not stick around very long. Uh, we're not going to block. Land is nice. Um, let's do this, and let's play the Nightmare Shepherd here. It just gives them a very difficult thing to deal with. Now, they can shock the Druid, which is going to suck if they do. Um, but we'll see what they what they decide to do here. Uh, let's see. I want to block here. Yep. Uh, I, my, my thought process there, by the way, was blocking the unblockable, uh, kind of person, which makes sense. Um, now though, let's throw this out. We do want the land. But unfortunately, we're not in a good position here. Um, probably going to die here with an, an, another Infuriate, I'm guessing. Or an Embercleave. That'll do it. Blech. No, no. So, is there anything we can do? Nope. All right. I'm out. Man, we are not having good luck, guys. Unfortunately. Uh, let's give it one more game. And again, I don't think there was a misplay there. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Please, seriously, uh, in the comment section, if you find a misplay, let me know. But I don't really think that we did anything excessively wrong there. Other than maybe keeping that 7. That would have been the big one. Uh, regardless, though, I still have high hopes for this. I know we're like at 5 losses with this, but that's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we can't keep that. Yes, we can keep this. Um, I'm going to put binding on the bottom. Uh, so this is a... Okay, that... We're not going to count that. Uh, we're at a Garuda face-off there. That's pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and jump into actual game three. That one, we're not going to count. But hey, we got to win. <laughs> uh, also, I wanted to ask you guys um, something I'm kind of toying around with. And I, I, I'll, I'll be very upfront. I don't have a whole lot of extra time on my hands uh, between working full time. Uh, I've been very fortunate and I'm able to work full time, especially even during all this COVID-19 stuff. But um, we're going to try it. Um, I've been very fortunate and still working full time. Um, and while well, I know some people haven't, I feel for you guys, but uh, my my kind of, I not idea, but the thing that I want to kind of toy with is actually doing some live streaming. Um, I've not done really any live streaming before. Uh, we've done a little bit, I, I take that back. We've done a little bit in the past, but it's been like kind of group cube drafts and you know, kind of silly stuff like that, um, which, I'm super into doing some more of, but I would like to know, uh, just like streaming some games, for instance, like this format, just live streaming. Uh, if you guys would feel, you know, open to that, if you guys would be interested in that, uh, if that's something, you know, even on a small basis, like one hour a week kind of thing, like that's very small. I understand that, but, um, it would give, you know, a little bit more interaction, a little bit more of a, a cool feel to it. Um, so I was just interested if you guys are, you know, if that's something you would like to see. Um, and if it is, that's awesome. I'd, I'd consider it. Uh, I just have to be 
Conscious of time. That feels bad. Uh, hope we draw a land here. Well, we did. Um, let's get that out. And we'll get that out. Um, if that is something you're interested in, please let me know uh, in the comment section. I'd I'd like to do it, but I want to make sure that uh, there's interest uh, before we jump into it. Narset is really good. I like Narset a lot. Please don't kill Leaf Kindred. Please don't kill Leaf Kindred. Sorry, that's the thoughts that are going through my head. Deal two damage to me. Is that how that works, or is it a is it only a creature? Yeah, it's only a creature. Okay. Uh, well, we don't have much of another option. Um. Huh. I'm gonna get Thassa down. So one thing that we've not actually really seen as an interaction but can happen is like finding of the Titans into Blood for Bones uh, as a way to get Karuda out a little bit early. Um, and I like that interaction. Uh, unfortunately, it's not really been, you know, available to us at least so far, but uh, it certainly can happen. I think it's an interesting kind of thing that we should try if we can get to a point where that works. Um, they're going to kill Leafkin, aren't they? Yep. Did you need to do that? <laughs> you have fires out. Okay, uh, sure. I mean, let's binding. Okay, so like here, uh, if we had one more mana, for instance, we could have done that. Um, so maybe next turn we do have that option. I don't want any of these. Um, no, I do. I want to land. We've got the Garuda in hand. Just gives us backup plan on backup plan. Uh, let's scry again. It's not going to matter, but... Yeah, we still want the land. Uh, so here, if... As long as they don't sweep, we're fine. Um, if they sweep, we're really screwed. Uh, if they kill one of our creatures, it's fine because we have the blood for bones. Uh, if they, I'm trying to think, if they discard our, we've got double blood for bones, so that's not a huge issue. We'll see. Uh, we just kind of have to hope they don't have a sweeper, and then they have a sweeper, naturally. Uh, well. That sucks. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, can we sacrifice our Thassa? It's not a creature yet. So, no. God, that feels so bad. Mm-mm-mm. And they have Sharknado out. Uh, exile two things. Exile you. And... I mean, we'll exile you. It's not going to matter. Gaining that life. Woo! Put you out. And we can't do anything. Um, we can tap a thing. <clears throat> so that's good. So what are we wanting? I guess just a land. <laughs> like, at this point, we just need a land. Uh, I think it has to be a land. We can't, I mean, we don't have any one drop creatures because this is a Garuda deck, so. <clears throat> yep. I shouldn't auto pass, I suppose. Yep, yep. These have been some rough games, guys. Very, very rough. Well, actually, no, we don't need a land, right? Because we have binding. Uh, so we get Fabled Passage regardless. So, okay, we have, we have a thing. 
We just have to like win, <laughs> which is very unlikely. <laughs> Yep, tapping it. Ha, take that. <laughs> Good. Think, then act. All right. Let's get you back. Let's play you. All right, guys, we have to get extremely lucky, like kind of stupid lucky. That's fine. You can do that. Um, here, it doesn't really matter what we get. Let's get our second black source. All right, we're playing the Garuda in hand. We do have two shots at this thanks to, uh, okay, spark double. Nope, don't want that, don't want that, want you. Okay, well. No spark double. Great. But hey, got that paradise druid. Uh, let's just take out Narset. Just to say we did a thing. Um, spark double here. Seriously? Nothing? A leaf kin druid. Now we just hope they don't have a sweeper. Did we mill any more sweepers? No. Yeah, yeah. We do still have the Garuda here, which is kind of the nice part about the companion stuff is you don't, you know, you kind of always have at least one access. But... Teferi, huh? It's actually fine. If you want to bounce something, I don't really care. Boss is not the worst thing in the world. It's not great, but it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. How many cards are left? 30, huh? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I'm trying to think here. <clears throat> No, we don't have that. So we have eight mana available. I'm thinking we could blood for bones, uh, a spark double. Uh, I was kind of hoping we could get, what should we call it, um, herald. Uh, so that way we could blood for bones for the herald. Uh, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Okay. Um, but this does still give us uh, an out. Or it gives us extra activations, so let's sacrifice you. We just kind of have to hope they don't have a negate, really. I'm going to copy you. Uh, we'll choose Thassa's Oracle. Just so we've got that in hand. Um, and here we actually get a Thassa back, so we no longer have to play this. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not quite there. Uh, let's move to attacks. We're not really on the... I think we'll just try and kill Narset. If they want to double block, that's fine. Actually, no, we probably shouldn't have attacked here. Eh. That kind of sucked. Uh, the reason being they can just double block. Good thing they didn't. Uh, that takes away, by the way, um... Potential for Thassa's Oracle. That's what I was worried about. Okay, let's end the turn. <clears throat> let's bounce this. Let's copy this. Got another Garuda. Okay, let's play Garuda. We'll keep this one. Thassa's Oracle is the card that we got. is not enough all right here's the hoping let's try this if 
they have a sweeper, I'm going to be really upset. Well, I'm going to be somewhat upset. I don't know if that's actually the worst. Like, it's not good for us because it slows down our win, but I don't know that it's the worst. Um, by the way, I put Spark Double on top so we could copy Garuda and get more into the graveyard and then Thassa's Oracle. That's fine. We don't care. Just don't have a sweeper. Please don't have a sweeper. Sharknado. That's fine. You can have it. Yep. Yep, yep. That's fine. I don't care. So now they can't play anything else this turn. Uh, thanks to Fires of Invention. So, here's to hoping. Um... Harold's pretty good, actually. Um, okay, but hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're at 12. So do we actually want to take this? I think we do. This is just enough. I think we win by one. Let's just see. We finally won one. Um, we won by one card, by the way. Uh, that was very, very close. And we're back up to platinum one. Yay. Uh, okay. So here's the thing. We only won one. That feels bad. But I think that this deck is really, really good. I think part of it was me misplaying a little bit and not recognizing some of the synergies. Um, some of it was also, I mean, luck of the draw. That That's always part of it. Uh, and I also think in best of three, this would be a much better list. Um, at least in game one. I think game two, maybe you have some issues. But uh, I think the reason, part of the reason this doesn't do super well on the best of one ladder is that, uh, like, red deck wins. It's just fast. It's way, way fast. Um, if you don't know, yesterday uh, we released mono red just to see how it worked in the Aquaria standard. It didn't get any new cards. Um, but that deck is ridiculously quick against, like, a Garuda deck where they just do nothing for the first few turns. They get to a point where they have to block with their, like, Paradise Druids and stuff, and they just lose. So... I, I think, uh, I, I don't normally play on best of three, but I think on best of three ladders, this might be a different story. Um, that being said, I still really love the deck. I think it's very fun. Bant Garuda, we had better luck with, but I think this having the built-in kind of win potential uh, on the spot is pretty awesome. So that's the way I'm looking at it. I really like this deck. Uh, unfortunately, though, just didn't get very many, too many wins with it. Uh, regardless, though, if you enjoyed this video, uh, as always, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below and subscribe. If you're not already, enter the Aquaria giveaway. Uh, if you're not already, the winner will be chosen on May 16th. That is the day after uh, Paper Aquaria drops. So we'll send you a free bundle if you would like. Uh, regardless, though, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next gameplay video.